where do I even start? It was a mistake going down there. We were out of our depths. My name is Captain Alyssa Akana. I led a crew of five down in a deep sea scavenger vessel known as Luna, a titanium submarine capable of going up to 4,000 feet deep, the first of its kind, equipped with cutting edge atmospheric diving suits to withstand immense pressure. We were on an independent mission to recover billions of dollars worth of diamonds at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean, just off the coast of Namibia. There, a deep sea mining station collapsed in on itself a few months ago. We came to salvage what we could before everyone else did. As you can imagine, things didn't go according to plan. Jesus, I swear I hear a bee buzzing around. It's just your ears and the pressure. I don't know, whatever you say. Quiet down. I think they found something. Captain? I hear you, Dietrich. Anything yet? The ocean floor's a bit disturbed. It's too dense and cloudy down here for our lights. Captain? Go ahead, LaGrange. I'm also getting nothing down here. It's so damn cold. Maybe try again tomorrow? All right. All right. Maybe we'll have better luck with the floor's contractions later. We'll pull you up. You got it, Captain. Wait. Wait. I think I see something. Captain! I think I see... Yes, I see it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Judson, you're breaking up. Judson's got something. What is it? Crates, Captain. What the miners would have stored the diamonds in. They seem to have burst open. Are you okay to keep looking, then? Hi, Captain. Jensen's nodding as well. LaGrange? We'll keep looking. Why can't I hear Jensen? He's pointing to his comms unit. Must be faulty. Okay. Keep a visual on him. Want me to go lower and meet them halfway, Captain? Hold for now, Byron. Don't want to draw any on what to see life to them. Copy. But apparently, sharks are nice. It's dolphins who are pricks. How are we doing down there? Jensen and Dietrich are scouting ahead with the dig machine. What about you, LaGrange? A little lightheaded, to be honest. Okay. When you get back to Luna, we'll run a medical check. It's the pressure down here. Much worse than we anticipated. She's right. It's 1.8 tons per square inch. Worse than any reading the station registered. Hmm. How's the view down there? <laughs> Dark. I imagine outer space is brighter than this. Hi, son. What do you want to do when you grow up? Oh, you know, get in the metal tube and go to the darkest, loneliest places on the planet. Come on, Byron. Do your parents know you're buying them a nice retirement home after this? I wasn't finished. Son, you're the reason Mum and I are getting a divorce. Oh. Captain. Yeah, we hear you. Haha, <laughs> we found Oh, man! Diamonds, baby! Look at all these diamonds! Start loading the carrying cases and bring them on up! We're gonna be rich. Like, proper rich. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, Byron. I hate that saying. Like, who even has chickens? I'm not a farmer. It was Aesop. One of his fables. Well, sounds like he was a bit of a sop himself. <laughs> I kill myself. Uh -huh. ah! What's happening? Feels like an earthquake. Byron, how bad? Minor to mild. Probably feels a lot worse for them, though. Can we please come back to the Luna? All right, take what you have. We'll bring you back up. But Captain! That is an order. Come on. The ocean floor is settling. Yeah. Well, I still want them back up here. We're fine here. We should get as much as we can. No. That could have just been a warning shock. I gave you an order, Dietrich. You'll thank me later. <sighs> Screw this. I'm done. My tether is secure. Pull me up. We're moving closer to close the gap. Not sure the sea life would like it, though. 
taking it slower. 3,300 feet. 3,400 feet. 3,500 feet. Okay, that's good, 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 Byron, good. We could go a bit lower if you want. No. This is fine. LaGrange, we should be right above you. I, I still can't see you. Just hold on to your tether and breathe slowly. I'll get the diving chamber ready to receive you. This damn door! Give it a bit of a push forward and then turn. <sighs> now turn. Got it. Secure your tethers. Yes, Cat. Jensen, let's go. LaGrange, how far are you? 30 feet away, I think. Okay, I'll start lowering the lift. Insert your key. Turn counterclockwise to lower diving chamber lift. Diving chamber lift descending. Wait, can you see Dietrich and Jensen coming? Negative. They're minutes behind me. Please, just let me in. Let me in. Wait. Wait, Jensen. He's not with me. What? Uh, he, he was just behind me. Let me in. He's got the rest of the diamonds. Forget the diamonds. That's an order. Okay, don't raise the lift yet. I'm coming. Sorry, Jensen. Take you in first. Hey, no, I'm almost there. I'm sorry, she's fading. Turn your key clockwise to raise the diving chamber lift. Captain, just wait a little longer. Oh, God. Hurry. Dietrich, any sign of Jensen? No, nothing. It's just, it's just darkness.
of them that day. And there were only four of us. The Grange lost all respect for me, but regardless, we had no idea what was coming next. Stay still while I assess you. Why? Why didn't you listen? She's fine. Just diver's headache. Diedrich, leave us. You gambled with our lives. You pushed us too far, Alyssa. Jensen died under your command. We all gamble coming down here. Jensen knew the risks. Now look at me. Follow my finger. Your blood pressure's high and you're low on oxygen. Mobility not good. You have the beds. Just take it easy. I'll double our resurface time so you can adjust better. Feel good about your decisions, Captain? I stand by them. Making tough decisions under time-sensitive, chaotic circumstances. <laughs> it's never easy. If I start doubting my instincts, then we're in bigger trouble. Wow. Not a shred of remorse. We're all just... We're all just trying to keep it together, Tara. You didn't always used to be like this. Did you want to talk about us? I was gonna wait until we resurfaced, but we can... We can talk now. I don't even know you anymore. I only chose to come down here to support you, Alyssa. But your judgment is so clouded, it's dangerous. Those diamonds, those diamonds, <laughs> they could change everything for us. But at what cost? Steady, Tara. I'm fine. We should probably stick to LaGrange and Captain from now on. It was at that moment the power went out. No, 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 no! Everybody okay? Yeah, yeah, we're in the cockpit. Okay. Gonna have to be on my way there. Swipe up, down, left, or right to move in that direction. Find the sound. All right, I'm here. Welcome to the party. It's a very dark party where we can't see shit. Flashlights. We need flashlights. Go ahead, try them. Mine's not working. There's an overhead bin of supplies above you, Captain. Uh, over to the left. I'm just there, yeah. Go. Here, I'll check. Uh, there are flares. Uh, we need those for dogs for rescue. Okay. Got him. And? This one doesn't work. This one, shit. <sighs> Nothing either. Batteries not included then? They should all have them. Everything was tested before we went down. They're in here. Ugh, ew. They're all crusty and corroded. Well, they weren't when we left. Why are you laughing creepily in the dark like that? It's the rising pressure down here, squeezing out the hydrogen gas from the battery acid. Didn't prepare for that, eh, Captain? We need to figure out what caused a total power failure. Only one thing does that, an EMP. The Luna's basically one big Faraday cage. If anything, we'd be shielded from an electromagnetic threat. If it was strong enough, it could pass through our filtration and water purification systems. Hmm. What the hell causes an EMP all the way down here? Well, rumor has it. That's what brought the mining station down. They opened up a deep, deep fissure, releasing a floodgate of electromagnetivity and pressure. <laughs> God knows what else. What rumors? Why is this the first time hearing about this? Why don't you ask your captain? 
Did you know about this? I heard them, yes. But nothing to substantiate them. And you still took us down here. Dietrich, you also knew and came down here on your own accord. Clearly the rumors weren't enough to deter you either. What about the rest of us? Yeah, I too would like to know that. The logic wasn't there. The Earth's core creating a nuclear EMP equivalent? It sounded ridiculous. The likelihood of it didn't compare to every other tangible risk we all signed up for. Oh, and yet, now we're here. Stuck thousands of feet below, with no power, in total darkness. Well done. Yeah. Well done. I can't believe this. I can't believe you didn't tell us. This is all wrong. We just need to stay cool and problem solve. Question. How much air do we have? A couple of days. Plus, we have two oxygen candles to buy us time. Power is our main issue. Nothing we can do about that. Need to wait two or three days for it to restore itself. If there isn't another EMP wave. So, we wait it out in pitch black, possibly freezing to death? Cool, 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 cool. Right. Yeah, pretty much. Unless you have any better ideas. What does our leader think? Without power, there's nothing we can really do. Better bundle up. Glad you're really trying here. And so, we spent our time waiting it out. Limited our breathing, barely talked. We felt our way around the ship, learned to navigate it by feeling the walls tiptoeing over each other in silence. And we also learned how small Byron's bladder was. Excuse me. Again? Seriously? Sorry. God. It's cold in here. LaGrange avoided me entirely. I never felt so alone in all my life. Dietrich stayed near the diamonds. I'd hear whispers between him and Byron. Or maybe that was all in my head. Three days in total darkness at the bottom of the ocean does something to you. The cold, the pressure. You start to feel it. You start to feel it in your bones, your joints, your heart. Your brain. We all started to lose our minds a bit. Sometimes speaking thoughts out loud, hearing each other's nightmares, hearing things that weren't there. I kept sweating away the sound of a bee. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the object. Maybe there was one on board. No. No, there couldn't have been. I didn't know it was real anymore. And then, another complication. The power should come back any moment now. There haven't been any other contractions or surges. We have less than an hour of oxygen left. If that, it's a tight window. Better start praying. And I've been thinking, and thinking, out loud at times even, <laughs> like we're gonna have a big problem when the power comes on. What do you mean? The electrolysis tanks. Isn't that how we'll get our oxygen supply back? Yes. If the distillation apparatus hasn't calcified from not being in use for this long. It's most likely full of unfiltered seawater and locked up by calcium buildup. If we can't purify and desalinate the water before electrolysis resumes, we all die of chlorine gas poisoning. Oh, just how I wanted to go. Someone's got to go outside and toggle the manual pressure bypass valve. 
It should flush out all the backed up crap in the distillation pipes. Shit. I suppose we can crank down the lift the old fashioned way. Okay, but who's going to go? Well, I should probably stay on board to monitor the electrolysis tanks when the power comes back. If I go out there again, I'd be at high risk for an optic brain injury. I'm a pilot, not a diver. It'd take me the longest. Please don't pick me. Don't think about it. I think the captain should go herself. What do you say, Akana? I'll go. Well, that's settled. You're a brave one, Captain Akana. Wow, the balls on you men. Bit shrivelly down here, I know. Actually, to buy us more time with less oxygen depletion, two should go. Hmm. Buddy system's always best, if horror movies teach us anything. All right. Fine. I'll go too. Are you sure, LaGrange? Yeah. Just go already! Grab a couple flares. Let's suit up. We each shared a side of a single seat scooter, which luckily had a high grade battery acid seal, being the only thing that still worked. We had to make our way around the Luna to find the filtration panel. The water weight was so dense. Every limb felt 50 pounds heavier. All right, let's go. Right, she can't hear me. No comes. First move then. I should go right and make sure I keep my hand on the Luna. Place a finger on the screen and don't move. Don't move your finger. the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the object. You're not thinking right. You're confused. Tara, it's coming for us. We need to go now. Captain, you have your tethers. He's going to raise the lift. I'm sorry. 
Sorry. What? Stop him! I can't. He has a knife. He got me. He got me good. Bye, Ryan! All this for bloody diamonds. Get to the lift before it's too late. from all the pressure what did you do to Byron sure. he's not the only one who can pilot all this for diamonds huh pretty much maybe drop that knife and let's settle this fair and square <laughs> oh no I don't think so I didn't think either Place a finger on the screen and don't move. Don't move your finger. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
I do. I want you to know something. This was a story where I survived, didn't you?